Hello everyone. So today we're going to talk a little bit about Elden Ring crashing or not starting up uh, on Linux and a little bit what we can do to troubleshoot it and some of the dependencies I needed to do before I got it fully working. So all right, I would say we, we get right into it. Um, so the first thing we should do here is to make sure that uh, Elden Ring right now is playing with compatibility uh, tool force to experimental. So if you have not done that, I would recommend doing that. Uh, it did not work for me with any of the other versions. So getting the latest patches here seems to be uh, uh, the go-to, I would say, to proceed. And and if you go into here, for example, and uh, and let's say select tools, you will find it here. You see me, I've opted into the bit of Bleeding Edge, uh, but you should probably get a pretty good experience just running it in Proto Experimental. So uh, let's say you've already done this and you cannot get the game to work. Uh, and uh, let me just show you. Uh, here is, for example, me uh, trying to to get the mission, get the game uh, running. So I'm gonna press play here. Um, so let's have a look here. Um, so right now, uh, it's gonna initialize all that, and now it goes blank. It will not show up. Uh, it will will not even produce basically a black screen or white screen, as other people has mentioned. Uh, it it will be basically stay like this. Uh, and what you would want want to do here uh, is to uh, to look into uh, why this is working. Uh, I got one of the main causes why why my Elden Ring was not working. And that was actually the controller. So we will go into that, but before we proceed, I will jump into HTOP here and I will kill kill the process. So let's let's have a little bit of look here. Uh, so first of all I will because right now I have an Xbox 360 controller, just to clarify, uh, plugged into my computer. So I will now Unplug it again, and and proceed on to kill the kill the game. So here we have the game. So we're gonna just take all these and press F9, sig term, and it's dead. So, and you might be wondering also why why didn't you just play basically click stop? Well, for me it does not work to to stop it. You will need to kill the process. But if it works for you, that's that's pretty good. Uh, but for me, it has never worked uh, just clicking stop on the game. Uh, so what I needed to do to even get this working, right, and get the get the controller working, for example, is to go into desktop configuration inside settings here, controller desktop configuration, and uh, here it says no no attached controller, uh, but uh, I will see if I can uh, can plug it in. So give me a second. Uh, give me a second. There we go. So let's show you what configuration I got. So there we go. So inside here, you would have to browse configs, templates, and have the uh, and get the gamepad support. Apply that configuration and press done. And when when this is done, uh, you should now be able to play with the controller inside the game. And I will show you the trick to uh, basically. Uh, get the game starting because right now the possibility there's quite a high possibility that the easy anti-cheat is 
basically blocking you from entering the game. That is from my from my end what what is the issue. So we will we will try it out. Uh, now that I've already I did the mistake of plugging in the controller again, it will not work. So I will show you uh, what is needed here. So I'll unplug the controller and we start the game once again. Uh, let's see if it works. Uh, it might be that uh, Antisheet is accepting it now, but uh, but let's have a look. So. Initializing. All right. So with the uh, controller plugged, uh, plugged out, it's now working. Uh, and here, when you have gotten into the login screen, uh, and got them past the, the login to server part. Here is where you uh, plug in the, plug in the controller. Uh, you can never do it beforehand. You must always plug in the controller after after you have come into the game. So right now you cannot see my screen. You can only see my. I've not put it into OBS, uh, but but yeah. So, so that is that is now like in the login screen where you can uh, plug in the controller. So I hope this helped you uh, a little bit on how, how to fix it. And uh, yeah, uh, it's a little bit took me a little bit of trial and error to get this to work. Uh, so just to remember, uh, fix the controller settings. Uh, get get Proton Experimental as well as uh, make sure that controller is not put in uh, when you're starting the game. Put in the controller and disconnect it and plug it in after the login screen. So I hope that helped you and yeah, see you, uh, see you again next time I would say for a little bit of troubleshooting. All right, yeah, bye-bye.